All right, so we need to talk about the Acolyte Episode 7's end credit song. Now, this is something I realized I left out of my Episode 7 review. If you haven't seen that, go ahead, if you would like, and go watch it. It'll be the last video on my channel. I kind of dissected Episode 7 and the Acolyte series as a whole, and my love that turned into disappointment for it over the last couple of episodes. But like I said, we're here to talk about this end credit song that I totally forgot to put in the video of things that I didn't like about the episode. So I just want to talk about it for a quick minute or two, as it has been a pretty hot topic issue over the last few days since the release of episode 7 of The Acolyte. Now, if you aren't aware, if you didn't stay till the end credits of episode 7 of The Acolyte, a cuts to the classic galaxy, black background, white stars, blue text credits of all Star Wars movies and television shows, but instead of playing a orchestrated song per Star Wars tradition at this time, or just silence, they decide to put in a song called Twin Flame. Now what makes this song different from the orchestra type songs that they usually put in the end credits? Well, this is a straight up pop song. It's a pop slash kind of R&B hip hop type merge of a song. And this has a lot of people, including myself, kind of upset. Now, I say kind of for me personally, because it's not the end of the world. It is something that we need to talk about, though, and I don't think it belongs in Star Wars. Now, the song itself, I don't think is a bad song, actually. It's really catchy. It's a good song. It's a good soundtrack song. I can see this at, like, the end of a Marvel movie or something, like a big dramatic pop song. And that's exactly what it is. It's a very Marvel-esque song. But Marvel is a story and series of movies that is grounded for the most part. Take away the multiverse, take away, you know, superheroes. They are in our world. Star Wars isn't. So when you put this type of song at the end of a Marvel movie, it's nice. It's cool. It fits. This does not fit at the end of a Star Wars episode, a Star Wars movie, whatever you want. I was very thrown off by this. It took me out of the world because even as much as I didn't care for this last episode, it still felt like Star Wars. You are still immersed in this world of Star Wars, a galaxy far, far away. Then you are met at the end of the episode with a very modern song that you would just hear in your car on the radio. And this has never been done in Star Wars before. And for good reason, this song as much as I may like it, or as the next person may like it, or not like it, it does not belong in a piece of Star Wars content, period. Now, I know some people are fighting against this. They're saying, well, it's it's good change. It's, it's not that bad. Like, it's really a small gripe. Yeah, it is a small gripe, but it means so much to diehard fans like me and millions of others out there. It just doesn't fit the universe and it takes you out of it, which is the most important part. I don't care about who made the song, what type of song it is, it just takes you out of the story which you're supposed to be mystified in and taken away in. And that is my main issue with the song. As I said, it's not a bad song, but it just doesn't belong in this universe. But that is all I have to say for now about this topic. I just wanted to add this in a short little video real quick to make sure I got it out there as I did completely forget to put it in my episode 7 review. Now I want to know what you guys think about this topic. Did you like the song? Why or why not? And do you think it belongs in Star Wars? I'm excited to see what you have to say. I'll be responding to comments in the next couple of days. And after you've left that comment, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.